Welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Free, everybody. Praise be to God on this glorious day. And hopefully we can finish up the last free Last World epi Lost World episodes. Alright, let me start over. Hopefully we can finish the last free Lost World levels in this episode. So, we've got enough coins to open up the next passageway. Hey, you've got another one of those cogs. Put it on the machine and see if anything happens. Looks like you're going to have to find a few more of them to fit it all together. Perhaps there are more hidden in the other areas. Go on, Dixie. I reckon you can find the rest. Don't forget, there's still demolition to be done. I'm itching to press that button. Fancy giving me some coins then? Go on, have a go. Good one, Dixie. That's bought you one of Boomer's specials. It's past Stampede Sprint, past Crisscross Cliffs, and there we go. By the way, Dixie, did I mention that my last special costs 26 coins? But hey, it, it'll definitely be worth it. Uh, yeah, we'll see about that. Well, if memory serves, this level's not as bad as the other two. This one is the Tyrant Twin Tussle. It's the last cave level, and it is filled with the Tyrant Twins. They're totally invincible, so that's a bit annoying. They also love doing acrobatics. So what we're going to do is kind of hang out in one of these safe areas. Marked by the bananas. Okay, that was a little too close. And wouldn't you know it, we need both columns for that part. Man, those Kremlins are definitely training to be on the football team. Yeah, apart from them having big hitboxes, it's really not that bad of a level, if memory serves. There we go. Get you out of the way. We'll do a team throw up there. There's gotta be more. Come on. There we go. Why does Squitter appear on, like, every cave level? About that, I mean literally only two of them. Actually, no, he appeared on Creepy Cavern as well. Oh, that's right! I totally forgot Squitter can actually kill the Tyrant Twins. And they have a unique sound effect when they get defeated. That's interesting. Alright, Squitter's pretty good on this level, since the Tyrant Twins are pretty much indestructible without Squitter. Oh, come on. There we go. That's kind of a fun one to get. Gotta use clever use of Squitter's webs in order to get up there. Collect 40 stars! With pleasure. And again, Squitter makes this one a lot easier, since we don't have to actually go around dodging the Tyrant Twins. We can just get rid of them. Thank you, Squitter. You have been a big help indeed. Normally I dislike being Squitter, but this level he's very, very helpful on. Thank you so much. Nothing over there. Oh, what? I totally forgot about that move. Whew! Okay, that move's a bit hard to do. Get rid of the clap traps. I think I can see, yep, a couple holes in the ceiling. Ouch. Okay, so that part's gonna be a bit tricky, but th again, this level's, compared to the other Lost World levels, this one's quite easy. Alright. Alright. 
Oh, darn it. Football practice uh, today. I forgot about that. Or maybe these guys are like sumo wrestlers or something. One way or another, they're up to no good. Alright. Ouch! <laughs> it's not a lot of space to get past them. So new plan, I'm gonna try to hover over them at the beginning, and then just run ahead. Like that. There we go. So for starters, I want to get the end. Second of all, I want to go up here. Make sure the Tyrant Twins are out of the way. Question is, I'm not sure if this will respawn. Let's check. Don't it don't respawn? Okay. But that's okay because it doesn't need to. Find the coin with pleasure. Oh, hi. Well, that was a very simple bonus barrel. One tricky jump and that's it. Boo 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 boo. Hey! Yes, I will gladly just wait here. This is literally the only safe spot. Ducking just to make sure. Up usually leads to secrets. Whoa, hi! Ouch, okay, I did not expect them to do that. Okay, nice little safe spot there, nice little safe spot here. Oh ho! That's a tricky one. This is why you always touch the a uh, single banana that's lying out. Oh no! Oh no! Why would they do this? There are only two banana locations, which is nice, but... So if, I guess if you get lucky... But of course luck's not my strong suit! Alright, that, that was a tricky one. Ooh. But we did it! Alright, yeah, that one was significantly easier than the other two we've done. Thank goodness for that. Back to Boomer's Hut. So we have another cog, nothing happens. And we get another Boomer Special. Let's see where this one goes. So this next level, I would say, is the most legitimately difficult level in the game. It's... It's hard, but it's hard for the right reasons. Alright, so we need the last three bonus coins on this next level in order to get the final Lost World level. The final Lost World level does not have any bonus barrels on it at all. It's really the only thing about it that's nice. Alright, time for the final tree level, Swoopy Salvo. This level is filled with little woodpecker enemies called Swoopies. We've seen sw oh, a single Swoopy in the game before now. 
He literally stuck his head in the wall to give us an extra boost. If only it was this easy for the whole level. So we get squawks at the beginning. You'd think that would be nice, but it's really not. So we wait for the red buzzer to get out of our way, fly up, and we're about to see the main gimmick of the level. Not this guy. That guy just has a little prize of a banana bunch for us. But yes, this is the gimmick. These are the swoopies. They are unlimited uh, spawn respawning enemies that just get in your way and dash like crazy all over the stage. Not fun. And they are everywhere. So that first bonus barrel is quite easy to find. Okay, that was a really easy bonus barrel. Is it going to turn us back into squawks? That's the question. Yes, it is. I'm okay with that. So this first part of the level is pretty much as squawks doing some aerial maneuvers to dodge these unlimited supplies of swoopies. And if memory serves... Oh, I went backwards there. Whoops. You can kill the swoopies with your eggs. Except because they come in such close quarters... It's not really worth it. Alright, that might be a bonus barrel. Nope. I risked my life for a single nickel. So if you've got patience, this level I guess isn't too bad. But believe me, the swoopies really get on your nerves after they kill you like ten times in a row. Like most things. So if we fly straight up here... Here we actually do have to kill swoopies in order to get in here. And yep, bonus barrel. Oh boy, 15 bananas. Lost World Levels do a- okay! Yeah, this is where the Swoopies really get annoying! Stupid Swoopies! Yeah, this all is just dealing with infinite barrages of woodpeckers. Doesn't sound too bad, it is. This level is much harder than I'm making it look. You can tell when the swoopers are going to come in when you see those little holes in the trees. Except as we saw, they can also come in through the big holes that you can fly through. Flip! Flip! Purpose curb. Cool. Also, the first half of the level is much easier than the second half. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Bother. Alright, let's try this again. Now that I know the swoopies are here. Arg! They come at much different rates than the ever swoopies. I just realized, the swoopies, when you kill them, make the exact same sound effect that uh, Captain Crow makes from Donkey Kong Country 2. Okay, the swoopies are coming at much, much less frequently than the other swoopies. So this isn't too bad. Once you know that ahead of time... Boom! One more bonus barrel in the entire game. I really hope it's not another banana one. Alright. Let's not screw this up. Cool!
checkpoint. The right rest of the level, we don't have squawks. Now we're just DK. Now we're just Dixie and Kitty. And dealing with the swoopies is far more annoying. Because as it turns out, the power of flight is very useful when it comes to getting rid of swoopies. Not sure if the upbeat music it fits better with this level, or the more melancholy Super NES music fits better. Alright, get them out of the way. Alright. Yeah, at some parts you have to use them as platforms in order to get up higher, like right here. Oh, never mind. That's just a tiny hole. It gets worse, trust me, it gets much worse. Like right here! Ouch. I know for the last bonus barrel we need to go up a staircase of them, just bounce off one one after the other, which is way harder than it looks because bouncing does not match up with the speed of the swoopies. Whew. Okay, cool. Someone tells me I actually may have missed the bonus barrel. Only one way to find out. That seems a bit excessive. Oh, I know, I saw that. I saw those holes. Alright. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Thank goodness you can roll into swoopies. Alright, cool. At least we get the G. Oh, come on! Dumb old hedgehog. Go back to Red Wall. And you swoopies, go back to Woody the Woodpecker's amusement park. Yeah, see? The jumping on them does not line up. Oh, yep, sure enough! That is one of the most- that's easily one of the most annoyingly placed bonus barrels. <laughs> Swoopy staircases, no fun. Woohoo! Cool. Ouch, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. That means I have to deal with the onslaught of swoopies with one calm. But this is still legitimately hard. It's not, like, unfair by any means. It's just irritating. Whoosh! Next level throws all hope of having a fun last to Lost World level out the window. Hey, and I'm sure people who are familiar with it just can't wait to see me get there. Oh, come on! Come on! I totally hit that! Why didn't it give me the big jump boost off of the swoopy?
There we go! The key is to just barely move at all when you're bouncing off the swoopies. Yay, it wasn't a banana level! That's the last time we get to hear those jingles. That was risky! I don't know why I did that. <laughs> no swoopies allowed. No dogs allowed. Uh-uh. No siree. <sighs> yes! Oh boy. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the last level now. Even though this is probably going to be a longer than average episode, I don't care. If I'm lucky, the last level won't take too long. Who am I kidding? It's going to take forever. We finally bought the last of Boomer's specials. So heads up, this last level, it's, it's notoriously known as being one of the most irritating and difficult Donkey Kong Country levels ever in the Super Nintendo version. In the GBA version, though, it is much worse. It is much worse. And you're about to see why. So first off, what even is the level? Well, <laughs> welcome to the final level. Rocket Rush. A level truly unlike any other. And not in the good way. We're controlling this rocket barrel! Move right to move right, move left to move left, which is reversed from the Super NES version. You can push A to make a little bit of fire beneath you, which uh, slows you down your descent and lowers your fuel gauge. Yes, we have a fuel gauge, just like Tanked Up Trouble, only it's even worse. And if we, uh... <laughs> in, the, in the Super Nintendo version, if you touch one of these buzzers, then you destroy it and you lose a bit of fuel. In this version, if you touch one of the buzzers, you blow up, and you have to start the whole level again. Okay, you lose a column. You blow up if you have no columns left. Also in the Super Nintendo version, uh, you can kill the red buzzers. No such luck here! <laughs> oh, and as if, I, as if that's not bad enough, in the GBA version, they decided that you didn't really need the checkpoint. There is no checkpoint on this level. Oh, this is the worst. Keep in mind, I am tapping A just before touching the green buzzers. Because if I didn't, then that would happen. So yeah, if you if you're familiar with the Super Nintendo version, yeah, just just try the GBA version. You're gonna discover it is far more difficult. Granted, the Super Nintendo version is still a very hard level. And again, kind of for all the wrong reasons, mainly because it's a... Who in the world would expect a level like this? Don't be afraid to slow down your descent. It is much more important for you to slow your descent and live than it is to go fast and die. Also, if you're moving to the right, any buzzer that touches your left torch will die, say, and vice versa. Nothing over there? Okay. And if you run out of fuel, you just... you lose. Because you can't move at that point. Oh yeah, and if you touch the walls, the floor, or the ceiling, you're also dead. Basically, if you touch anything, it, you're dead. Okay, 
I don't want to stop completely. Ouch. Oh, man. Oh, this is bad. Okay, we're through the worst of it. Now it's the second half of the level. We rock up to the top. Thankfully, the bananas are here to point us to the way. I will say this liftoff section is a bit easier in the GBA version. Not by much, but it is a little bit easier. Oh, no. Mainly because the Super Nintendo version has no lenience whatsoever when it comes to touching walls. It's like, oh, you touched a wall, you're blow you blew up. Yes! That was a pretty good run of Rocket Rush, I'll be honest. I expected to die a few times, but it wasn't too bad. Alright, please tell me I can at least get the... Okay, cool. And we get the last coin as well. Kitty, will you do the honors? <laughs> we beat it! I don't think I've ever beaten Rocket Rush that quickly before. That's pretty incredible. So that's all the levels in the game down, and I think we're going to leave the episode off there. I'm sure you're wondering, why not just finish the final boss? Well, because I want, there's still quite a few banana birds we have to get. And you'll remember Funky said that once we got all the hero coins, he wanted to see us. That's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. I really hope you tune in then, because the next episode's going to be the last one, and it's going to be an awesome one. Have a great day, and God bless.